previously said it didn't want a trade war. Well, it looks like we've got the beginnings of one now. Yeah, that's right. It sort of seems like this is a bit of a warning from Beijing. About a week ago, China came up with this hit list, if you'd like to call it, 128 US products it planned to slap a hefty uh, tariff on. Now, of course, like you say, these came into effect today with China announcing tariffs of up to 25% on products like pork, aluminium, uh, fruit, nuts, even wine, to the tune of $3 billion. Now, we know, of course, that this is in response to Donald Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminium, uh, which kicked in here in China uh, just over a week ago. Uh, but it's also really about protecting China's interests. I've spoken to steel manufacturers here who say that they are concerned. Uh, some have even told me that their orders have gone cold since Donald Trump Trump made this announcement. So, you know, while we don't really know the impact uh, economically right now, we certainly know uh, that experts have told us that it will hurt politically and diplomatically. Uh, now, China has said that it will hit back in the event of a trade war, but it has repeatedly said and still says today uh, that this is not the way forward. And it hopes China and the US, the two world, of the world's biggest economies, can come to some sort of win-win. And is this just a warning? Is this the end of it now, or is there more to come? Well, like I said, uh, these products that China is targeting uh, is to the tune of $3 billion. Now, that's not a lot compared to the $60 billion worth of uh, Chinese imports that Donald Trump uh, is proposing uh, to slap with tariffs uh, now. These are, these are new tariffs. Uh, but like I said, it certainly is a warning from Beijing. Now, we're not sure what products Donald Trump is targeting with these new tariffs, uh, but there has been suggestion of things like technology and, and telecom which could really hurt China. So what we could still see is China slapping a hefty tariff on things like soybeans and aircraft, which would hit the US economy where it really hurts.